For more than 70 years, we have worked to deter and defend against threats in the Euro-Atlantic area, on land, at sea, in the air, in space, and in cyberspace. We are Headquarters Allied Joint Force Command Brunson, JFC Brunson for short. We're one of the three operational Joint Force Commands in the military command structure of NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. We plan and execute military operations across the north and northeastern flank of Europe to preserve freedom, peace, security, and the national sovereignty of NATO members and partners. Our history dates back to the aftermath of the Second World War. In 1949, our North Atlantic Alliance was created to secure peace in Europe, countering the threat posed by the Soviet Union. Four years later, our headquarters was established, originally in France, to direct Allied military activity in Central Europe. In 1967, the headquarters moved to the Dutch city of Brunsum in the heart of Northwest Europe. With the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 and the subsequent collapse of the Soviet Union, the political and security situation in Europe fundamentally changed, and NATO's role shifted away from Cold War deterrence to crisis response operations. In 2014, Russia invaded Ukraine, a NATO partner nation, illegally occupying territory in Crimea and Donbas. This led to another shift in NATO's force posture. When, in February 2022, Russia launched a brutal new offensive in Ukraine, NATO activated its defense plans and deployed its high readiness forces to reinforce the alliance's eastern flank. The 2022 NATO strategic concept, approved by leaders at the NATO summit in Madrid, formalized Russia and terror groups as strategic threats and launched a new concept for the deterrence and defense of the Euro-Atlantic area. Today, we command highly capable multinational forces, which enable NATO to deter aggression and defend every inch of Alliance territory. The 900 personnel, civilian and military, who serve in the headquarters are drawn from nearly all of NATO's member states and several partner nations. Following Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea in 2014, NATO launched the most significant reinforcement of its collective defense since the end of the Cold War. This led to the deployment of four multinational battle groups to Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Poland. Helping us to direct these battle groups are our subordinate headquarters, led by Multinational Corps Northeast in Poland. They take tactical command of NATO assigned forces and are scalable to accommodate rapid reinforcement. For the past two decades, JFC Brunson has commanded NATO's high readiness troops, known as the NATO Response Force, on an annually rotating basis with our sister JFC in Naples. The NRF is a high readiness, technologically advanced force of up to 40,000 personnel, comprising land, air, maritime, and special forces units capable of being deployed rapidly from their home nations wherever and whenever they are needed. The NRF includes a very high readiness joint task force, a multinational brigade of around 5,000 troops deployable within just a few days. Helping to facilitate the rapid deployment of Allied troops are the NATO Force Integration Units. There are eight NFIUs in Central and Eastern Europe. Six of these are in Allied Joint Force Command Brunson's area of responsibility. At the NATO Summit in Madrid in 2022, member nations also agreed to massively increase the size of our high readiness forces by developing a new force model. They agreed to permanently establish four additional multinational battle groups in Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania, and Slovakia. Two of these new battle groups in Hungary and Slovakia are in Brunson's area of responsibility. In early 2023, NATO certified a new multinational headquarters in Hungary to command these two new battle groups on behalf of JFC Brunson. NATO exists to defend the territory of our members. We are a defensive organization protecting the one billion people who live on Allied soil. An attack on one of us is an attack on all, though our aim is to prevent conflict through crisis management and cooperative security. NATO's open door policy has seen its membership nearly triple in size since the organization was founded, as nations chose to join a family based on the common values of individual liberty, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. We work with partner countries around the world to project stability and strengthen security. More than a dozen of those countries are in JFC Brunson's portfolio. 
As one of the lead elements of NATO's military command structure, we implement the decisions of our political leadership to deter and defend against aggression in the Euro-Atlantic area. We manage our force posture carefully to ensure that our defensive capabilities are understood by those who would do us harm. We are soldiers. We are sailors. We are aviators. We are civilians. We work day and night to keep our population safe, and we have done so for more than 70 years.